and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got some pretty insane slash huge news, guys. Didn't think they'd be doing all this stuff. They've given us some pretty back-to-back -back good days of news, to be quite honest with you guys. I, they kind of... Yeah, you did your job. I've appreciated what you guys have done the last two days. Pretty big news yesterday. Like, minor news, but a lot of it, I should say. An abundance of news is, is the proper word for it. But today, we got some pretty big news. This will change Madden for the rest of the year. This is huge. And this might make golden tickets slightly less valuable, actually, which kind of does suck, but at the same time, could help a lot of people afford them. It's kind of the big thing that we were kind of looking forward for golden tickets for. And now that we know this, it might not make them as important as they were before. But guys, super excited to go over all this news. Before we get into the video, guys, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, as always. Appreciate all the content, all the support, everything that's been going on. Thank you guys so much for that. Now, guys, smash that like button. Now, let's head into the news. So, first thing is, this one's minor. Every Monday, there will be a new objective list. So for all you guys who have been asking that, it is, it's not just a one-week thing. It's going all the way to the end of May, which means you have about approximately nine weeks of this. So guys, that nine weeks of this means 900,000 coins if you do them all, and 54th packs. Simple math. You guys should really get this done. Highly recommend if you do it every week to the last week. If it is nine weeks approximately, it's 900,000 coins, 54 packs. That's pretty much a free gold ticket. Take advantage of that. Next, on the, on the, on the list, go on the quick sell. So let's head on over to... The screenshots real quick to show you guys some of the stuff because we have gauntlet quick sells. Now, if you guys might not know what that is, very important. If you guys take advantage of this and you don't use your gauntlet players, you can get a ton of free training, guys, which could be super, super beneficial in the long run because as you guys know, nothing's worse than having free players that you got that you can't get a proper return on. It, it sucks. Like when you have, you, know, you have all these things in your binder and they're all not and you can't do anything with them. So these gauntlet quick sells introduced will allow you to get close to like 30,000 coins if you have the proper stuff and you finished all the gauntlet. Not 30,000 coins, 30,000 training. I'm sorry. 30,000 training is a whole nother ball game. 30,000 training is a ton of training. will give you more than enough training for at least a month. Like for most of you guys who don't abuse training like that. Or even more depending on how you properly use it and how much you have. But let's head over to that screenshot to show you guys that because this could be pretty game changing. Like everything I'm about to show you is game changing. Just stay tuned to the end of all this guys. I'm telling you, you won't want to miss any of this. This is pretty, pretty big stuff. To pay. I love what they dropped, guys. It was, it was pretty cool, and it's gonna change a lot of the way we we uh, play. And all these updates, I believe, should be happening around like 11 a.m. today. They did say, but we all know it's gonna be delayed. So, add another hour onto that. So, let's head over to the display capture. All right, guys. So, first things first. Gauntlet quick sell value. So now your gauntlet players that you guys did have in your binder. Let's say you finished all the gauntlets. You have all the upgrade tokens. You have all the players. You have everything, and you don't use them. If you have a gauntlet one player you don't want, you can quick sell them for 1,700 training. That's decent. You have a gauntlet 2 player, 4,735 training. That's good. You have a gauntlet 2 upgrade token, that quick sells for 2,950. That's decent. You have a gauntlet 3 player, one of those, you know, those crappy legends that no one likes. Yeah, like Keith Bullock. 17,000 training. That's solid, just for a free player. You have their upgrade token too, 12,700 training. If you quick sell the gauntlet 3 player and the gauntlet 2 upgrade token, you pretty much get just about, you do, you get 30,000 training, a little over. That's a lot of training. You quick sell everything, you get about, let's see, that's like 3,000, about 5, 8. You get close to, you get about 40,000, I'll say about 39,000 training. If you do everything, you can get 39,000 training for free. Just for playing the solos and getting everything done. Guys, that is a steal, that is a stag. 40,000, almost half 100,000 training to quick sell all those gauntlet players we had. Plus all the rewards we got from gauntlet to begin with. You had the players, you probably used them already. At this point, might as well just get rid of them. If you're not using them anymore. For people that need them, they start them, that's fine. As far as the gauntlet expert, obviously you don't have to get rid of that one. You can keep that one. I don't even think you can get rid of that one. You can use that one to your advantage, start them, but all the, the, the bad ones that no one uses anymore. Guys, that's just a ton of training. That's 40,000 training. Plus what I have now, I'll have like, like 63,000 training if I get rid of all of them. I'm telling you guys, very worthwhile to start, you know, just drop these guys. You really probably can't be using money of these low 90s, high 80s anymore anyways. Or the 96s, they suck anyways. Unless you're a budget team and you need them, by all means, stick with them. But my personal opinion is, I'm pretty happy that we went ahead and we, we, got, we got rid of those. Because I was not... I was not, I, I, we're stuck with those cards. I could really use some free training right now. Next screenshot, this is very, very important news. So they were showing us this Patrick Mahomes screenshot. They showed us that, he, you know, his abilities and everything. And I was like, why are they showing us this? So they did announce starting as of, I believe, sometime today. I could have missed that, but it's coming soon. Ability slot has been added to all base 99 cards. Now, what does that mean? If you have a gold 99, you have an extra ability slot. Now, that doesn't mean, before you guys all ask, if I get my 96 card powered up to a 99, can he get an extra ability slot? No, he cannot. 
He cannot because the, the issue with that is, and I, I've tried to explain this to people. Let's say you power him up to a 99, you put the extra bonus slot on him, right? Then you take a person off your team and your chems change. He's 98 again. Should he still be allowed to have that spot? Technically, no. You have to be a base 99. So what I believe, do believe that means if you power up a 98 or power him up and he becomes a 99 overall gold, he can get an ability slot. If you unpower him up, he loses that ability slot. If he's a base 99 like Patrick Mahomes, he gets an extra ability slot. Now, what is an extra ability slot for all you guys who may somehow be wondering that? Here you see the Superstar X Factor. Ability 1, Ability 2, Ability 3, Ability 4. Now, Ability 4 should be just like Ability 3 where you get every other ability. Now, what would be cool if the Ability 4 has lower thresholds than Ability 3 does and you can get a much more stuff there that you might not be able to get before? But who knows? I'm assuming it's just a replicated Ability 3 spot. So let's say in Ability 3, you wanted Dash and Deadeye and you wanted Fast Break on Lamar. Let's just say that was the thing. And you're like, oh, I, I have to go with Dash and Deadeye. Now in Ability 4, you can put Fast Break on it. You can get that extra ability. And we all know this, guys. There's all, we all have that player, that 99 overall player that we were like, I really wish I could have this ability, but you need a skate artist. You need it. Or I really wish I could have this extra one, but you can't because you have to have this. On a running back, you want this, but you know you should just have Jukebox, Evasive, or spin, you know, Jukebox, Spin Cycle, and, and Inside Zone Guru. But like, I want Outside Zone Guru. You can have all four now. Only on 99 basis. So... Saquon Barkley 97 cannot get it. He will be a 99 powered up. Like, I mean, no, he'll be 98 powered up, but Kem's probably a 99. But he will not be a gold 99, which means he's not a base 99. Like, his card is not a 99 overall. He's Kem to 99 overall. Here's the next screenshot to show you guys the abilities. As you can see here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, my Mahomes, I believe, has... My Mahomes has Gunslinger, Dashing Deadeye, Escape Artist. Now, I'm heading over to my Madden screen real quick. You guys cannot see it, but I can. I'll show you guys the potential for Mahomes beyond that now with this extra ability slot. So, let's say... I had Gunslinger, Dashing Deadeye, and I had Escape Artist. Oh, the fourth ability slot's active. I just checked. It's active in-game, actually. Okay, that's pretty cool. So now you got to upgrade him one more time. So let's... I'm going to take you guys over to the map screen, actually, right now. All right, back here, guys. As you guys can see, it is active. So here you go. Perfect. So now let's say I want a sleight of hand. High chance of pump fakes and double moves. I don't really want that, but it looks really cool. Red Zone Deadeye. Now, this might be one I do actually want. In the red zone, it's very important to me to make sure I get accurate throws. Because in the red zone, you have a 20-yard distance. Typically in the red zone, your big plays don't work there because you need you, there's no timing in there. Everything's quick, fast paced in the red zone. You need play you, when you when you see that little that little inch of space, you want to throw it. That could be a good one. Then we got long range dead eye. That could be good too. If you throw a bomb, it's perfect. That means you can't overthrow. You can't overthrow a bomb, which is perfect. You know how many times I get a guy like they blitz me and like oh my god, my guy's wide open. I throw it and because I'm being blitzed, it's a pressure throw and he overthrows him. That could be huge too. Gunslinger already have. No look dead eye if you want to be an ass, if you want to be strong cross body. That might be good too, guys, because how many times are you running out to the right and you see, you know, you know what I'm talking about? You're running to the right, out of bounds, and you see your running back just standing like this, wide open left side of the field. Wide open. So wide open that if you can make that throw right now standing still, he will catch that standing still and he will run up the field 50 yards. It gets that wide open. The whole field's on the right. And you can't, with, with no look dead eye, you could literally run it like this, cross body, perfect accuracy, and on the, and on the money. QB playmaker, precise reaction from all wide receivers. That could be good too. Anchored extender. That could be good too. Last ditch is decent. Identifier is important. Immunity to pressure while throwing on the run. I mean, I just got these scrambling. I'm sorry. Where was it? Identifier. Highlights your defending uh, blitzer. Gift wrapped. Higher chance to complete passes to uncover targets, which I don't really care for that one. Roaming dead eye. Now, ones that I would like, you cannot get any of these here, although it would be really awesome to have armbar with my homes. But. Guys, that pretty much wraps up all of this here. Like, there's just so many there's so much potential. Let's see, do we have the same slots as ability here? Yeah, we get to get the same stuff. But Mahomes has a ton of, um, he just has a ton of potential for what he can use. Guys, this is so game changing. You guys don't understand how important that is because now Mahomes just got significantly better. Mahomes has so many abilities he can get. I don't have any other base 99s in my team actually besides Mahomes, so I cannot really do it with anyone else. Now Pat Tillman just got an extra ability slot, which is huge. Now that now that changes all your mentality, right? Now you you don't maybe just want to get abilities on. On your 98 97 maybe you only want to get 99s now for abilities because if you have three 99s with abilities that's 12 abilities total if you have three 98s that's nine abilities total you get an extra three abilities on the field that's game changing i think this is cool i think madden might even be progressing towards a fifth in some point because if you guys do know in regular madden they do have all, all extra abilities already i've been waiting for that but guys about it for the video hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys are new to the channel make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button turn that on to my boys come join the family make sure you give this video a big thumbs up Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to check out today's later video. I'm out. Peace.